Hello, this is Angela Tukum, one of the Pollies at the Lily Pad. Welcome to my scrapbooking with affinity videos. Today I'm going to scrapbook a page about when we made, or rather when my daughter made and I supervised, um, this mango carrot goji rose hip smoothie. I don't know how their version of this turned out to be yellow in the book, but it's got red and orange ingredients, so hence ours are orange. Okay, so I'm going to use a kit called Kitchen Adventures by Rachel Designs. It comes with elements, papers, she also has matching cards and stamps. And two, I've got three photos I want to use and I've picked one of these templates from Fiddle Dee Dee Designs and she's got this set called Golden Sun. She comes dressed down and dressed up, dressed up. They have a lot more elements and lots more stuff on the page, but I wanted something a bit more minimal. So I've gone for the dressed down version and I'm going to use this one here. So here I've loaded up the template. It's a PDF template, which imports into Affinity Fine and I'm using Affinity Publisher. You could just as easily use Affinity Designer or Affinity Photo. I, I like Affinity Publisher for lots of reasons, including making text easier. And um, I can see what's happening up on this left hand corner here. So I'm going to start with the photos because that's where I always start. And uh, for this big photo, it's going to be the finished product. Now I want to resize it and all of these resizing things are in pixels, which confuse me. So I'm going to go do select from the photo and I'm going to document setup and I'm going to change the document setup. So it gives me inches instead. Scrapbookers tend to work in inches, so it just makes things easier. So now I'm going to resize, resize this down to about four inches to make it easier to move around and relocate on the page. Now I can use the handles to size it to my photo spot. And over here, I think I'm going to put the juicer, which was juicing the carrots and the mango. And the goji berries, which is an interesting recipe. Tasted delicious, by the way. And the hand squeezing of the citrus fruits. Recipe called for limes. We didn't have any, so we replaced them with lemons. Right, so I've got a picture of the recipe book there. So I'm just going to put the recipe book's title in here. So using frame text. And it's Winter Smoothies by Lily Marani, I think. It's definitely not an English name, so I've probably spelt, pronounced it wrong. So that goes there, so I'm giving credit to the recipe. And here was a spot for a fourth photo. I'm actually going to delete that photo frame and use this space for a journal card. And the card's in... And this kit, there's these fabulous ones here, Kitchen Adventures. I thought this was definitely my daughter's kitchen adventure. I'm going to take this square one, um, pop it into this space. That green vertical line means I've got it centered and the red line as well means I've got it centered the other way. So that's great alignment tools that you have with Affinity Publisher. 
Now, this big circle here, I think I want to put something orange in here to represent like the orange fruits and the um, carrots and stuff. And, but so what we've got in the way of orange paper, so we've got a plain orange one, or we've got an orange patterned paper here. So let's go with this. Oh, yes, that's nice. And we've got the layering here behind this photo. So um, if that was orange, it's too close to that. So let's try the yellow. Let's see if there's a yellow. Let's go with the yellow paper for that. And I want to put something dark in between the photo and that yellow paper. So the the white in a stroke frame, I want to replace that with something darker. Let's go with this grey. That sort of stands out. And then let's replace that too, boys, with a green. So this winter smoothies tag, let's see what tags are in the kit that we could use instead. So there's these labels here. So let's try this one. On the interesting edge there, that's quite nice. bit smaller so it's similar size to the tag that's I'm replacing. Let's copy that special effects over so the the shadow is the same and then line up that title but uh, with those dots on the side I think I'm gonna move this to left alignment rather than right. Now these, I don't want white framing those. I'm not really into white frames. So let's try that yellow. Yeah, still light, but uh, not white. So if you've got this paper behind that card, I think I'll go for that dark grey so that it follows that through. Yeah, that's looking good. So we've got this heart. This kit has this fabulous thumbs up label, which I think is great. Kind of says, yes, we liked it. It was good. It's a success. That's a bit of an angle. Copy the shadow from that heart and then delete the heart. And down here. With an apron. Let's copy it like that. And it doesn't stand out particularly well, so let's put something dark behind it. And as there's a flower in the template, let's try this dark flower here. That will kind of go with that for the colours and then get rid of the template place mark. And something lighter. That's pretty with that kind of doily effect that sort of reminds me of kitchen doilies and napkins and pretties so that can go there like that and let's duplicate it and put the duplicate up here got 
on a little bit of it bigger. So once we've got the black one there and the black one there, let's duplicate that one too. Oops. Right click, where's duplicate gone? There it is. Duplicate and then we pop it. Yeah. Other one here, but I think we'll go. For, we could go for another white one, or I could go for something different, like this sort of yellow pale one here. That's all the main elements in, looking really good. Let's try a background paper. Um, Nice. Imagine we're we're not losing eggs. That's pretty. Nice and forks, not for smoothie. Hearts are pretty. I call that kitchen equipment. Mm, that's nice too. Well, let's just try this floral paper, see if it's too busy or not. Might. A bit more subtle. That's definitely too much. So let's go with that. And where this orange paint splat is, let's go for a, a green one. Calms that down a bit. Not sure, might change those out later, but that does for now. Um, title. Okay, it's a little word arts. Oh, not quite suitable. She's not exactly cooking. That's his healthy, but yeah, not cooking. Right, let's go for an alpha. Build a title up from an alpha. I think it was smoothie. And um, so the this collection by Rachel is from what we call the BYOC. Build your own collab at the lily pad the first friday of every month all the designers create a collections and kits and stuff all using the same color palette so i've got an alphabet in nini goes digis high hopes kit which is from the same byoc collection april 2024 um well, it's not quite a bold enough orange don't want to go with the grey. Let's try this yellow. That's quite nice. S M. Double D H. I. Right. I'm going to line these all up. I'm going to use the arrange layer alignment. And we're going to let's 
face them horizontally, which is a bit Ooh, not quite word. Let's get, move that over here. And let's keep the, the aligning. Let's see. We can move that T in a little bit closer and possibly that H. Otherwise, the kerning's good. Let's group that together, resize it, and plonk it over here. Right. I'm not liking that combination very much. Is it the background paper or is it the colour of my title? I think it's the background paper. I think it needs something more subtle. I think that one was. The right option. But then this green's a bit doesn't work. Wonder if this paper will work inside that mask. Yeah, that's quite nice. Looks lots of fun. Now here where it says your memories, I think I'm going to put a little recipe thingy in here. Let's go look back at these cards. So we've got ingredients. So let's take that over. Zoom in. Now I'm going to use this crop tool and I'm actually going to crop this card in so that I'm only getting the ingredients section. Text box. Let's list those ingredients. Now we've got OG berries, mango, lemons instead of limes, oranges. And there was something else in there. Let's have a little, quick look. Carrots, that was it. One, two, three, four, five items. Nice. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So yes, I can make it so that they're all separate lines. So I'm doing this just in here and choose a font. Quick pop in my favourites and a look at um, some typed ones. Blanche, Little Beauty. Dorothy looks quite nice. Actually, yes, we'll go with the Dorothy. And I'm going to go to paragraph and I'm going to reduce the spacing. Let's have a little look. Let's put them on the line to make up that. So, Jeff, what's happening with this job? Roughly a few weeks. And we don't need this to be that wide, so I'll take it down so it's a bit right. smaller. Yeah. Very good. Okay, and you can get rid of that. And Okay. Let's just recolor that so it's the same as that dark color. Um, 
and group my pages like this right back here. See how that works. My ingredients, where I got the recipe from, and let's put a bit there, okay, and this is, what's this done? April, April 2023, and I will put my daughter's name okay. in that space after I stop recording the video, and I'm going to go with the same font and the same colour. Right, let's have a look at what paper we can put in that strip spot. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, blends too much with that flower, so let's try the orange. Not next Tuesday. It must be. If we're going to want to make even more drop off some uh, some bits of the shed at the tip on our way. And I think that's mostly complete except that was there. And yes, I like that. Thank you very much for watching. Um love to see some pages that you create. Blessings.